Hey y'all, this is just a prelim video really quick for y'all just to kind of let you know. I've been a little bit absent since like the middle of last week. Um, I had intended on putting a video up last Saturday and then I thought, okay, Sunday and then I'll, no, I'll get to it Monday and then I came down with a bit of a cold Friday. Saturday and Sunday I was down and out and then yesterday or Monday I still wasn't quite 100% and then yesterday I had a hair appointment and trying to catch up from not getting anything done on the weekend. So I haven't gotten anything posted since like mid last week. I feel so bad, but I just, it just wasn't there. I just didn't have it in me. And as you all know, when you're sick, you're not only trying to play catch up on a business if you're running a business, but just your house. And our daughter and son-in-law and our, our one of our brand new brand, grandkids and our other and granddaughter are going to be here this Sunday to visit for about three or four days. So we've been in the process of trying to kind of catch the house up a little bit and um, we really wanted to hunker down because we were both sick with the same head cold for a few days together. We're not usually sick at the same time. It's usually I'm sick or he, you know, we kind of alternate it. But we were both sick at the same time for a few days. So we just feel like we're trying to play catch up. On top of our amazing family is going to be here. And since our daughter's coming to town, we have a couple of local kids. And we're going to have all of our grandkids in the house at the same time. So we are going to have a party, so to speak. Um, so we're so super excited about them being here. I wanted to get a prelim video done just to share with you my apologies that I have been absent. I actually have two backup videos that I'm working on right now. I wanted to do this prelim video to the one I'm going to be posting next. Just to let you know, I'm sorry that I haven't been there. Um, and then I also have, I, I'm doing an unboxing, I'm doing a haul video here. And then I'm doing an unboxing. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You, can, you know, you'll have to wait and see. Um, and then I have three other boxes still I haven't unboxed yet. On top of getting back into listing 20 a day. And I'm thinking about kind of getting back into whatnot. I'll explain all that later. Um, so it's just been crazy. But I just wanted to say hi. I hope you haven't. Um, thought I just kind of fell off the face of the earth. But we've just been sick and catch up. So anyway enjoy this video please do watch this haul video we had some fun pieces in here and as i mentioned before i know some people don't enjoy haul videos especially if you're you know it's not goodwill or whatever the rummage sales but we've had quite a few things selling from our rubbish sales especially recently between hard goods and clothing things are selling so please do watch and enjoy this and i've also got i think kind of some special pieces in here been trying to kind of switch up, up a little bit and go out of my comfort zone and pick some things up from research that I've been doing on stuff that we don't typically list. So please do a watch and enjoy this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we've got a lot of unboxing coming up. I will be ordering some more boxes also now that I'm kind of back on the mend and doing better. So if you haven't subscribed, if you don't know, we just did a 90-day update on a... Um, it was a men's box, so if you haven't gone, check that out, check that out. We have more 90-day updates going on between that and unboxings, goodwill hauls, thrift hauls, whatever we're doing. It's all in there, so do subscribe, but stay tuned for this wonderful haul um, of some rummage sales we went to, and we'll see you there. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I am doing a... I haven't done one of these. I didn't do one... Um, last week because we had kind of a small haul so I did incorporate a couple of those pieces from last week into this one we did hit some more rummage sales yesterday I'm just kind of lowering you guys a little bit just so that the picture is good um, and uh, since I am trying to back up a little bit so you guys can see the pieces better I'm just trying to adjust the screen so it's all good for you all around and it's not too tall and all that so um, when I scoot in closer here to talk to you, obviously it expands out in the camera. Okay, so I think that's probably good for now. Um, I wanted to show you some pieces. Um, we definitely had a better haul um, this last week. I did have one piece um, last week, should I say yesterday, we had a great haul yesterday. Last week we had a great piece and I'm really excited and hoping that it does as well as I think it might. Um, we've had some fantastic sales the last few days, um, and some of them were just great profit pieces. Um, the piece that I'm talking about right now is what I'm hoping might be another great profit piece. And I picked it up due to some research that I've done from following another YouTuber, 
and I am excited to see what it does. I'm going to go ahead and show you that piece right now. So I did some research on this while we were at this home. Um, and so I'm hoping that this pays off. Now, I was thrilled too with the fact that I only paid $3 for this. So I'm trying to learn more about different things like sports gear. Um, you know, I, I sold those jerseys that I got in the men's box. So I've got a couple more pieces kind of like that. I'm trying to get familiar with pictures if it's something that we feel it's, that's something we can ship. Um, in, at this particular home last week, I found this one and I looked it up. Um, this is from 1977. I don't think you're going to be able to see this because it's so small. But you can see his name there and the year. And then if you look on the back, this is um, the gentleman that did this picture. And I also wanted to note too, doing the research that I've done through another video of a gal that I follow, she talked about how to find good pictures when they're in, when the, the backing um, is not just like open and you got the tacks and it just pull, you know, switches around so you can pull the back out. But these are specifically done for nice photos. So I've been looking more for things like this. And then I do look up the person that did the photo. I read comps on this gentleman's pictures on eBay and the lowest sold comp that I found, this is a nature piece of a bunny, um, was $155 and then they went up from there four sold pieces from his nature pieces. I'm super excited to get this listed and see what it does. Again, I only paid $3 and I think it'd be fantastic if I sold it for even $150. I want to double check comps again when I go to list it. Um, and this gentleman's name is Thomas, I don't want to butcher his name, Mangelson. Um, and this is called a Hiding Place Cotton Tail. So super sweet. I'm going to get that listed. I'm just going to put it over here so that nothing happens to the picture um, while we're going through these things. So that was one of the pieces that I did pick up last week. I'm also going to show you a couple of other things that I'm kind of excited about. This is a very vintage um, handbag and with the holidays and different things coming up, I just said grab this. I got this for like $5. Um, it is, it has this clasp on top and it's still in brand new condition. It does have a brand. They had some others there. I did not pick them up because they did not have brands. This one is um, a Bobby Jerome's. So I did have a name on it, so I can put that in the listing, so I'm not just listing just a bag. So I'm going to put that up, and I'm going to probably list this for $20.25. Again, I paid $5 for that piece. Okay, and then another one from last week. I've only got this one left, and then the rest is from yesterday. I did not do the haul video yesterday because we were just so tired. So um, I am trying to pick up more handmade blankets and tapestries and different things. This does have some catches on it, so I'll be just trimming those. Um, this is just, um, I don't know if I can, I can't back up enough to show you the whole thing, but what I will do is I'll just go ahead and open it up. I only paid a dollar uh, fifty for this. I'm probably gonna list it for about maybe 20, but it's just this really, really cute bear, um, bear uh, blanket. And let me see if I can lift up the bottom so you can at least see the bottom. Just so super cute. I thought this would be so great for a, like a little kid's room. Um, again, I'm just going to kind of go through. It's got a couple little pieces, so I'm just going to kind of snip those and get that ready for that. And we will go from there with that. So again, maybe $20. I just thought it was super, you know, so cute. It was only $1.50. Okay, so on to yesterday's. We do have a few pieces here. Um, so I'm going to try and make this as quick as we can. We got some hard goods and we did get some clothing pieces. I'm very happy with some of the clothing pieces. We did not pay a lot for anything, which was great. The prices that we've been getting at these garage and rummage sales has been fantastic. And if they are asking too much, then we just say thank you or, and we just, you know, keep moving on. I don't remember what Dan paid for this. This is silver. It's got a fruit motif in the middle. Um, and I don't remember what he told me this was comping in. I think it was like 25 or 30. Um, I honestly don't remember, but I do know that he's looked up comps on all these pieces and it was great and good to go. So we grabbed that. Um, 
one of the rummage sales we went to yesterday, it was literally just a donation offer. So we grabbed some things and we um, donated money for the items we picked up. Plus we gave a little bit of extra because of what they were donating money for. They were raising money for um, a, a children's medical thing or something like that. So we just gave a little bit of extra money for that. So, but what we figured was for those pieces, when, and I will explain when I get to those pieces, they were about $2 a piece for what we gave. Okay, this one we picked up yesterday and I'm excited about it. I'm gonna give it a wash. This is a beautiful comforter. She said $3 for this. Um, and I thought it was just really pretty. Again, I'm trying to get into, this is completely homemade. Hopefully you can hear me over the comforter. She said this was completely homemade. It was given to them. Um, it has barely any use to it. Um, I'm gonna run comps on the sizing for homemade comforters. I'm not sure what this is gonna go for, but again, we only paid $3 for it. So, um, if I run comps, I will try and maybe do a screenshot on some of these pieces if I can. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and move on. Okay, a couple more hard goods. So I found this um, Vera Bradley um, wallet. It is literally brand new. It still has the tags inside. I picked this up for $5. Um, it still has all of this inside of it. I'll probably list this for $25.30. Um, was the sold comps on this piece. So um, I'm glad for that. Um, so there's that, I'm trying to zip this back up. There we go. So there's that. And then we paid $10 for this. This is a solar power inverter. She had it in uh, on the table for 20, Dan offered 10. She said, yeah, no problem. Um, so we see, I will show you this. He said the comps were averaging anywhere from $50 on up, depending on the piece um the the specific solar power so he's going to do some more research on this but for sure we'll list it for at least 50 maybe more depending again the comps on these specific kinds of inverters um again he only paid ten dollars for that so even at 50 that would be a great a great profit okay i do have a few um i think just a couple more hard goods here we picked these up these were i think they were like 50 cents a piece um, Dan said the comps on these were good. They are hangers. Oh, sorry, they're upside down. They're guitar hangers. Um, just the ends of the guitar strum. And uh, so those are 50 cents. He said the comps on those were actually pretty decent. So he grabbed those. And then I think the last hard goods we had, I think the rest is closed. He found these Coors cups, these silver Coors cups. It's got that there. He said these were running for the five of them. They were running between $25 and $30. He paid five for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He paid five for eight uh, five dollars for eight of them. And he said they were running about $25, um, $30 sold comps on those. So he grabbed those. Okay. I'm gonna show you some shoes here. I'm gonna wash these. I'm not gonna wash the sandals, but I'm gonna wash the tennis shoes. So I got both of these um, tennis shoes. I got this one and another one I'm gonna show you. They were $5 each at this one house. These were selling for probably between um, like 28 and 35. Um, these are Under Armour Women's. They have a little bit of wear, but not much. Um, it, some of the inside of the insole is kind of worn off, but the sole looks really good. The shoe itself is in good condition. I am gonna give these a wash. And so I'll probably list these for probably 35 at least. Um, and do those. And then the next um, ones, I decided I wasn't going to pick these up because they're kind of dirty. These are going to get washed. But I decided to run a comp just in case because I'm finding that when I don't run comps, I'm like, maybe I should run a comp. The sole still looks really good on these. Um, and when I ran a comp on these, used was um, pre-owned with some used condition, I found sold comps for $75. And then anywhere from like 150 to 200 depending on the specific shoe for new and almost new so um i am going to wash these up i think they will still look really really good again i only paid five dollars for these and i would be thrilled with even 75 dollars 90 dollars or whatever these might bring um but yeah um very very happy with that i'm glad i checked that out i'm glad i looked at the comp i am going to take a drink of water here really quick Okay, I was so thrilled to find these. I wasn't sure if they would comp out good, but I'm so glad that I looked them up. I know it's the end of summer. We've already gone into fall. 
But I know Crocs are also really popular. And there was a sole comp on these exact shoes um, when I looked them up for $35 sold pre-owned. I paid $2 for these. So I'm going to clean up the soles a little bit in here. Paid $2 for these. And I'm going to get these listed. I will definitely look at hopefully selling these for about $35. So there's those, and now we're going to move on to clothes. I'm just going to kind of grab what I have, and I'm going to share with you what I paid for it and what I think it will it will list for. And again, I have run comps on everything that we've got here. So this is the Lucky brand shirt. Now, I know that Lucky shoes and Lucky pants do well, so I did look up the tops because not all the time, especially when it's in shoes, or sorry, in, in clothing lines, some things do well in certain brands and other things don't. So I wanted to make sure if I picked this up, even though it was lucky that it would still do good. And I was still seeing comps, sold comps for about $20, $25. I paid $2 for this shirt. Um, I'm pretty sure it was $2. Yeah, this was $2. Um, and so I figured, you know what? And it's in great condition. It's a nice floral print. It's long sleeved with the fall season coming around the corner. It's a size 1X. So I said, yeah, I will grab that. And we will run with it. Okay, um, speaking of Lucky, I found these. Um, I believe I paid, I think it was $3 for these. Um, I did not pay much. These are a size 16. These are Lucky pants. These are vintage. And they have this cuff here on the legs. Let me just kind of show you these. These are going to get washed. They have a tiny little spot in the back. Um, not really much to note. I think it was like right here or something. So I'm going to wash them. They're in good condition. Super good condition. They're definitely vintage. Um, again, I, pay, I think I paid like $3 for these. Um, so I will list those. I'm going to presume at least $25, $30, maybe $35, depending on what the comps are when I list them. So again, $3, even if it's $25, that would be really great. Okay, moving on, the same place where I got those. This was, again, our rummage let sale locally here. I think I paid like $2 for this. This is another jersey. And I did well with those jerseys from the men's box. Um, so I'm going to put this up for, I don't know, maybe, um, again, I'm going to run a comps beforehand, but probably $25, $30. I honestly don't know. But I paid $2 for it. And it's in really great condition. I don't even think it's been worn. If it has, let me back up so you can see the full thing. If it has, um, still, it's in super great condition. So probably between 25 and 35, I will list that. Okay, moving on. Now I have sold um, some fox hats. So I thought when I saw this, I thought, hmm, it's a fox men women's shirt. I paid $2 for this one also. It does have a little something on the front, so I'm going to pre-treat pre that and wash it. It's just a small little thing. Um, it has a little bit of wear, but it's a women's fox shirt. Let me show you the back here. And I'm going to back up so you can kind of see the front. It's got this print detail. It's got a fox on the front. And I was seeing comp, sold comps, I think for between, I looked up so many comps. When I say what the comp is that I saw, I may be off a little bit. If I am, I apologize. I look up so many comps during the day when we're out. I think this was selling for about $25. We had probably like $20, $25. Um, and it's a long sleeve and it is fox. It does have the face on it and it's also got some other detail on it. So I grabbed that for $2. Thought I'm going to give that a try. Okay. Okay. So moving on to the next piece. This again was about $2. This is Westport. It's an extra large. It's in great condition. It's got lace trim on it. Now, I have a couple other Westport things that I've got listed. One's a pair of shorts that I just listed the other day. Again, this is long sleeves. One of the reasons why I grabbed this has got this pretty lace trim on it. And again, it's a 1X. It's a great shirt piece for the fall. I pay $2 for it. Even if I sell it for $15, $18, $2 into it, that's perfect. And I am trying to get some good quality that doesn't have holes and tears for the ladies. So I did grab that for them. Okay. I'm going to grab these. Um, I paid $2 for this. I was kind of tempted to keep this one. Um, this is a Columbia Sportswear. They were only asking $2 for this jacket. It's a beautiful um, purple jacket. And it doesn't have 
hardly, let me kind of show you up front so you can kind of see the wear condition. No pilling, no wears, no nothing like that. Again, I only paid $2 for this. Um, for the gal size large and Columbia Sportswear, absolutely, this will probably sell for maybe around $20, $25. And I paid two. It's in great condition, size large, good size. So I grabbed it for the gals. Okay, another one at the same place that I got that. This is a Duluth women's sweatshirt. I paid $3 for this one. Again, really great condition. It's like a button up shirt jacket. And I thought the gals were like this, especially again with the fall season coming around the corner. It's got some cute front pockets. So again, $3, I picked that piece up. Okay, let's continue with some of the gals clothes. I think I have two men's shirts here and the rest is gals. So this piece here, I paid $3 for it. Um, I picked this up, it's Torrid. She had a bunch of Torrid, but not everything was in the quality that I was looking for. It was stained or um, just really peeled or something. This sweater actually looked, I'm gonna show you a close up so you can kind of see. It looks to be in really pretty decent condition. And this is a size one in Torrid. And I thought with the sleeves, it's got this hem, uh, the sleeve um, detail here, it's a ruffle piece. I thought for a sweater, I looked up toward comps for sweaters that were sold between 20 and 25 were sold um, on comps on um, toward sweaters and shirts. So for $2, I grabbed that piece. Okay, I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to show you a couple men's pieces and then we'll finish off with the women's. I grabbed this. I was so surprised. She was only charging 50 cents for this. This is a Nike um the athletic department nike jacket it's a zip up jacket it's let me try and show you here back up so you can see it let me zip this up so you can kind of see the front there we go so it's just this nice block colorway with gray black and red um it was a good size she was only charging 50 cents for this i don't even know if this has been worn it's in such great condition so I will definitely be listing this for probably $20, $25. And it's got from pockets. So great, great guys piece. Okay, so men's shirts. I looked up comps on this brand. There weren't a lot of sold comps, but one of the reasons why I grabbed these is called the Roper, Wear the West. I grabbed two of these. This one is a size five extra large tall. It's a big men's shirt. Really, really big men's shirt. It's a nice blue red plaid. She was only charging $2 for each of these. Um, and I am trying to make sure that if I can provide the larger wear for the men. So there's that color. And then I think this one was a little bit smaller size, the same brand, the Roper. And this one is a three extra large tall. And this one is a red plaid colorway. So I'm going to put those up for the guys. Okay, I think I have four more pieces here, it looks like. I found this sweater. Um, again, I think this was, yeah, Torrid. Really good condition. This is a cardigan sweater for the gals. It's got a relaxed open knit. I'm going to back up so you can see the piece. And then I'm going to kind of come in closer. It is really long. And it's got, let me try and show you the, see how it's got kind of that scalloped edging. And it's got kind of an open knit, a really pretty open knit. And I double checked it to make sure there weren't any snags. I didn't see any. It's just in that's a really pretty rose color with white blended in. I'll show you a close up of the colorway. Kind of a rose heatherway with white. Um, I paid $2 for that one also. Okay, I got these jeans for $4. Um, these are BKE Denim Sabrina. They are distressed. I paid $4 for these and the selling comps on these were between 20 and 25. They have the boot cut length. Um, they do have some, some distressing on the hem, so I will definitely note that. Um, I grabbed those, again, I paid $4 for those. And the last two pieces, so I did get some sportswear, NFL jerseys for the gals. These were both in super great condition. This is a size large NFL jersey Vikings from Minnesota. So I grabbed this for the gals. I paid $2 for each one of these. Again, this is a size large. So I'm going to list these and just see what they do. 
This is the other one um, that I grabbed. This is a Red Sox. This is Genuine Merchandise, Fifth and Ocean. And this is a Boston t-shirt. Again, really great condition. Um, a cute colorway. This is a peach. Let me show you the color. And let me just show you the back of it. Love the stripes on the sleeves. So again, $2 for that one. So that was our haul from yesterday and kind of a little bit from the week before. I hope you enjoyed this. We're excited to get these listed. I am excited to see how that bunny picture is, that one of the first pieces that I showed you um, that I'm going to probably put up for at least $150. Um, I'm excited to see what these shoes do. Tell me in the comments below what piece you like the most um, out of what we picked up today. I've got um, four boxes here waiting for me to unbox. I told you I've got, I had more stuff coming in and they have arrived. I've already started in on the denim box. I'm also going to be working on some of this lost cargo. Um, and I also have some stuff from Boutique in the box. I'm going to be starting to list here very soon. Um, we actually have company coming in a week and a half, so I'm trying to vamp up so I have some things on the side that I can already have drafts ready to go. So that when my company's here, all I have to do is list those drafts. I'm not spending a lot of time doing some listings. We only have a few days with them, so we will be taking a little bit of time away to spend some time with them on top of doing a little bit of work too. So we're excited about that. That's in about a week and a half. We've got a lot of great things going on, y'all. I'm excited about fourth quarter. I hope you all are too. I hope you enjoyed this video haul. And we're excited to, um, to show you in future sales what has sold. And guys, until the next video, we'll see you then.